Welcome to Electro Online. Here's another application for the partial derivative. Let's say we have a rectangle. At this moment, the rectangle has a length represented by x equals to 5 meters and a width represented by y equals 2 meters. We can then see that the diagonal d is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. If the question goes as follows, what is the rate of change of the diagonal when I keep the variable y constant but change the variable x. In other words, I'm going to change the length but not the width and then how will the diagonal length change according to that? Which means we're going to find the partial derivative of the diagonal with respect to x. Partial of the derivative with respect to x is equal to, of course here's the equation, we can say that diagonal is equal to quantity x squared plus y squared to the one-half power. So taking the partial derivative with respect to x is equal to one-half times x squared plus y squared to the negative one-half power times the partial derivative of the inside with respect to x, which is going to be 2x. Notice the 2 and the one-half cancel out, so the partial of the diagonal with respect to x is equal to x divided by the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now we need to find the rate of change of the diagonal with respect to x with y constant at the moment that x equals 5 and y equals 2 meters. Which means that the partial of the diagonal with respect to x when x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 2 is equal to x will be 5 divided by the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared, whoop, I'm getting ahead of myself, 2 squared, that's equal to 5 divided by the square root of 25 plus 4, which is equal to 5 divided by the square root of 29. And of course that would be in terms of meters per second, because that's the rate of change of the length of diagonal with respect to, the, with respect to x, keeping y constant and allowing x to change. So for every unit of change for x, we have 5 divided by the square root of 29 units of change for the diagonal. And that's how it's done.